Hi y'all, welcome back to my channel. Um, today is the first of many holiday hauls. Uh, apologies for just everything lately. I, inconsistency, video quality, audio quality, uh, how tired I am, all of it. Uh, it is, it is, I, it is just the season of life that I am in. It is completely chaotic. It is very stressful. Um, and it is constant. So, um, I'm trying, so my vlogging camera died, essentially is what happened. I had like a Mark III, the, the one nobody likes, I had that, it died. Um, and I have a black magic that is way too cumbersome for vlogging. It also needs to be set up and left. So it's one of, it's actually perfect for this kind of a video, but I don't have um, anywhere to keep it currently in, I don't know why I'm even getting into this, but whatever, let's just do a little catch up. Um, I don't have anywhere to keep it currently on account of the fact that uh, I don't have a building yet with for like my office, which is where it would go. Um, we also have puppies. So, you know, I have four dogs, three of them are puppies and the other one's on chemo. So like keeping things out of way, whether it's puppies getting into it or if Adelaide has an accident or something, you know, it's just constant. So yeah, so it's been trying, I've been filming my phone, which sucks because ProRes is not, I'm not a talented enough cinematographer to, to do that. How people on YouTube tell you it works. It doesn't work like that for me. Um... I also don't really want to learn. I don't care. I don't, I also do not have the time. Uh, so this is my phone, 4K 60 frames per second. We're going to try this one today. Um, the lounge video that I just filmed, that was 4K 30. So we'll see if this is any better. Um, I've tried all the tricks that they tell you to do. And we're just going to, my friend Beth said it really well, done is better than perfect. So we're going to do that. Uh, it is October 27th, which means it is definitely time for a holiday haul. I will have several for you this year because I am Miss Claus and it is bringing it. Christmas is always something that brings me joy. It always makes me happy. It always gets me excited. Um, and it's just been, I guess, I don't know about you, but October feels so long for me. I say every day is like four days and I'm just really ready for it to be the holidays. Um, but yeah, so on that note, let's get into it. I am, I'm breaking this up into several videos because it's a lot of stuff. So let's start with, I should have thought about this before I got started. <laughs> let's start with all the places that aren't one store, like all the little stuff. First thing, this is from Grandin Road. It's a countdown to Christmas clock, like clearly. Um, I have wanted this for a few years now and I just never bought it for whatever reason. You know how it goes. Uh, but this year, um, our living room cannot fit a tree in it right now. Uh, the lounge, for the record, just for like clarity, the lounge is what will take the 12 foot tree. The living room with the puppies, it's too, like that footprint, that traffic thoroughfare area is too important for there to be a tree. The puppies are also, there's just a lot of puppies right now. I mean, I have three puppies and it's just a lot of them getting into stuff still. And they're just not old enough. Even with all the training, it's just, um, so it's best that we not have a tree in there right now. So I have, uh, some wall decor. I have areas that are really, they would be great for wall decor. So I figured, let's do this. I love this. I love the color. I love the font. I love the gold. I love everything about this. I love this. I love my, if you're new to my channel, I am not the white kitchen, modern farmhouse, neutral Christmas. That is not my aesthetic. No judgment. Like live your life, do whatever makes you happy. I don't care. It's fine. Um, clearly it's crushing it. I am just a very traditional color scheme. I like a lot of warmth. I like it feeling very cozy and like everything's okay. I, I'm also, um, 
<laughs> I also have a sensory disorder. So like the environment has to feel a certain way. And so I tend to really want something warm and cozy and like a hug, you know? I want it to feel like, hi, welcome. Here's a glass of wine and a hug. That's my goal. I went to Round Top last week and I got some stuff. Not that. So I got, if you are unfamiliar with what Round Top Texas is, it's a town. Um, but a couple times a year, it turns into this massive, like, antique and, like, junk show. Like, people that go junking. Um, it's, like, vintage and antique, and that's my vibe. I like that stuff. So, I went with my neighbor, and she went with, uh, we met up with some of her friends from where she used to live. But the point of that is, we went into this, like, our first stop was into a store that had, like, a bunch of these, like, candle um little wreaths there's a term for this i just can't remember it's like a not a holder like a wreath but there's a term and i can't remember what it is anyway i got the eucalyptus one two three four of these of these and i got one two three i think i have more than three of these i just thought they're so cute you know uh, and then I also got from that store uh, 10 inch tapered candles that are LED. So they have a little remote and um, batteries, which is really great because that's what all the candles in my house are now. Uh, also, I got this little vintage. This may not make sense to me, but I just love it. I saw it and I was like, yeah. Isn't that, look at this, like the little bauble. But I just love the colors. I love those rich colors. That's my jam. And it's a good size. It's hefty. Uh, it's weighted really well. It... Hang on. It was a trio. So that was the red one. Here's the green one. I just thought it was so cute. The little jingle bells, you know? They just they were so sweet. Um and then I got other stuff from Round Top too, but it wasn't Christmas stuff. I was looking for uh, some things to finish out the lounge and just other stuff that I was kind of in the market for. And this is the blue one. It's like an indigo color. Like, you know, like blue and purple. But yeah. I just, and like this one has pine cones. How cute, right? I just love it. I just thought these were like so sweet. And I think eventually it'll go in the bar. Um, the bar's not built yet. That's actually something I'm going to go back and look for is a bar. Um, that has gone through multiple iterations in uh, the conversations that we've had this year. But still going to be a bar. Um, yeah, so that's from, those are vintage or from Round Top, essentially. Um, let's do Costco. Okay, so from Costco this year, we have two more. Of this gentleman. Uh, if you have seen my prior Christmas videos, you would know I have two of these already from a previous year. The ones that we have, their names are Hans and Beauregard. Uh, the Nutcracker did not have this and also had a drum. They were like drummers. So this, we had to get two, so they pair. One of them is going to be named Fritz. I don't know what the other one is. Um, something else we bought was this. We have two of these. This is a 10 piece gift box assortment. And this will be for um, the Christmas cookies that I do every year for families. So, yeah. Uh, and then lastly, wow, well, I got like ribbons and stuff. But lastly from Costco for the sake of this is two of these advent calendar for dogs. The eight dog toys, 16 bags of dog treats. Super cute. And then I'll show you what it looks like. But I got two of them because I got four dogs. But cute, right? Pumpkin spice flavored, snickerdoodle, apple pie, and gingerbread. I thought that was really adorable. 
And then from Home Depot, I bought, I'm redoing a Christmas tree. So I'm having to, I'll talk through that in a different video. I got this 101 count shadow proof, just like filler ornaments. And, uh, well, three of them. Uh, so you can see the color schemes that I kind of go for. We also got the only sensicles that we liked, which is the Christmas berry. Some ornament holders. We also got a Mrs. Claus. This was the youngest decision. She picked out Mrs. Claus. She was like, you have to have this. So she exists. And then also, we also got a six foot animated singing Santa. He moves and sings festive songs. His mouth, head, and torso move, and he is motion activated. The people who think this is creepy also tend to be like Halloween enthusiasts, so whatever. Um, and then lastly, <laughs> we get two four and a half foot animated reindeers. So I'm gonna change up the lay of the land, but I am so excited for them. Yeah, so that's Home Goods, or excuse me, that's not Home Goods, that's Home Depot. One more thing. Six foot LED corgi. I forgot about him. So yeah, so that is I say hi Addis. That is the kind of a random holiday haul today. Um I hope you enjoyed the video. Stick around. Next is I've got home goods, I've got Target, and I've got at home still to go. So anyways, hope you all enjoy the video. Have a great day and I'll see y'all very soon.